Hi, I'm Natasha Frakes and you're watching Market One Minute. I'm here with Lee Buckler, President and CEO of Replicel Life Sciences. Now Lee, you've been in charge for about the last year and a half. What's changed over that time? In a way, I think we've changed and touched almost everything about the company. We've changed and tightened the infrastructure of the company, focusing personnel and resources on where we can build the most value in our assets and our programs. We've changed the capital structure. This has allowed us to finance the company and position the company with a better financial position. But first and most importantly, we have now clinical data um, that's been delivered on all three of our programs that has allowed us to really drive much more intelligently with this data in hand, the future development of these products, the engagement we have with potential partners around these products, and institutional investors who've been awaiting this data before deciding how to participate in building Replicel's future. It sounds like a lot has happened, so what do investors have to look forward to now? Well, I think I've never been more excited about where Replicel sits and how we're positioned. We're now, first and foremost, being driven by the kind of first in human clinical data that we've never had before. This has really transitioned the company. Everything we're doing now is based on what we've learned from our clinical trials in pattern baldness, anti-aging of the skin, and tendon regeneration, and the first phase one clinical data we've got on all three. This positions us um, not only to plan next phase clinical studies, but also uh, on our injector, um, we're on target, on schedule, to have this product um, market ready next year and in the hands of a commercial partnership. In fact, to that point, uh, mid-summer, we will have the first functional prototypes of the device, um, which we're very excited to get in the hands of users and start collecting feedback. And then we have clinical data from our trial expected um, in, in 2018, uh, from the funds, from the trials that Shiseido is funding. And um, I think some other programs that we have working in the background that we look forward to announcing over the, in the weeks to come. You said at the beginning of this year, you were hoping to make Replicel one of the most exciting Canadian biotech stories. We're about six months in. What do you feel about that statement now? I've never been more convinced. I mean, first of all, um, you know, at the beginning of the year, we were basing our excitement on what we hoped the clinical trials would read out as. Um, we've now had positive, successful clinical readouts on all three of our programs. These are programs where we're looking to do something that no one's ever done before, using a patient's own cells to truly innovate and, and target applications in baldness, skin aging, and tendon generation that can't currently be accomplished today. And we're very excited about what that means. And also positioning the company uh, in the near term for another big transition. And that's transitioning from being a pre-revenue development focused company to a company that's focused on generating revenue while continuing to develop really exciting um, assets. So you touched on it a little bit, but can you tell me a little bit more about what this could mean for the average person? So this is, this is, this is what I loved about Replicel when I was first introduced to the story. This is about the, the, the man who's suffering from pattern baldness, dozens of emails and voicemails every day from those kinds of people, but also from the women suffering from thinning hair, particularly plaguing um, um, Asian women, from um, um, men who are suffering from premature balding, from uh, the woman who is uh, getting Botox or hyaluronic acid or other dermal fillers um, um, every day, looking to have perhaps a more natural way to address the kinds of fine wrinkles or skin aging that they're looking to, to, to address. Also about the professional athletes or the weekend warriors that are suffering from chronic tendon overuse or disrepair, um, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, jumper's knee, the kinds of um, things that stop us from doing the things we love, particularly as we age. And we're looking to use a patient's own cells to address these in ways which regenerate, which put them back doing the things they love in a way which surgery or other products simply can't accomplish. It all sounds very promising. So if people are looking to find you, where are you trading and what is your stock symbol? We trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture under the symbol RP, uh, on the OTCQB under the symbol REPCF, and for Europeans on the Frankfurt Exchange. It sounds like on the biotech front, Replicel is definitely one to keep an eye on. Lee, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Natasha.